bitch on, we got bulletproof glass now. Bitch, I turned off, I feel like I want a Grammy. I'm speaking Guapanese, I know he can't understand. Hey yo, what's your boy Atomic coming to you with another Bullet Echo video and today we're going to be talking about the top 5 things that I think Bullet Echo should add into the game before the end of 2020. In the comment section down below, go ahead and let me know what kind of changes that you want to see in this game because these kinds of videos really do help out game developers if they do you know if they're good game developers which i know that this game is they will watch these types of videos and take some of these ideas whether from the videos from what i'm saying in them or in the comment section down below as well so either way it's going to be a great thing for the game overall but for me personally i wrote down a list of the top five things i want to see added which i think will take this game to the next level now number one the one thing that I want to see the most right now, I believe, is monthly leaderboards. I feel like the current way that they have leaderboards set up, like I know we have the different tier lists, and you can get like bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and things like that, but I don't like seeing a leaderboard where it's just everyone who started playing the game from day one has all of their trophies combined. Now, of course, if you want to have like, you know, all-time total trophies on your personal profile as a, like a statistic, I do think it's pretty cool because the people that spent all that time getting those trophies should get some sort of recognition, but it almost seems like unfair. If somebody starts the game, let's say today, and the guy that started the game at the very first day of the game is sitting at 10,000 trophies or 20,000, 30,000, I think the top one in the leaderboard right now is at like 100,000 trophies. It's just there's no there's no way to actually catch up so i want to see some sort of monthly leaderboard with like a cap maybe to the trophy per each arena somewhat similar to a game like clash royale just so that you can sort of catch up i want to be able to catch up to these people i want to see the trophies reset every single season maybe not everybody coming down to zero let's say you hit like a certain trophy count like 5,000 or 10,000 or whatever the trophy count is if you hit like a certain number, you go back down maybe to like 5,000 or something like that. Just so that people have an opportunity to end like number one on the leaderboard. Just right now, you're just endlessly grinding and you can't catch up to anybody that's higher than you in trophies. And I think that'll be a lot more fun if they add this to the game. Now, the second thing that I think they should add is winnable chests and chest slots for more batteries and gears. This is coming from someone that also has spent money on the game. That's another thing that you guys have to keep in mind. So I'm making all, I'm saying all these things, and this is coming from someone who has actually invested in the game. For anyone that's just playing this game completely free to play, while the game is, yes, free to play, and you can actually get pretty far just being a free to play player. If you focus on like one or two heroes, you can get them upgraded, you can get their batteries or all their abilities up to like level 10 or 11, 12, whatever it is. And if you just focus on one, it's great. I just feel like it's very, very hard and difficult to actually gain the gears in the game. Even with the gear events, you get like a couple of gears and that's pretty much it. You can't actually level up and upgrade them. And even for me, someone who has, you know, bought all the offers for, for gears and things like that, I only can get my gear levels all the way up to like mythic. I think I have like one, maybe two gears that are mythic and yet they're not, is it mythic? Hold on, let me just check really quickly. I have one or two gears, I think it's on my sniper hero that I have at legendary level. I have no mythics no supreme and no ultimate and with the way the game is going right now in order to get your your item from mythic or from legendary to mythic you need to have 40 different gears and even if you win a gear event you'll get like two or three for that one gear so you gotta wait a good couple of months assuming i'll say i would even say like half a year to a full year assuming you get this specific gear every single time and i don't think that's right I think that there should be a, you should be able to win some chests for matches. Like let's say you win a game, you got chest slots at the bottom of the screen for those specific gears and uh, batteries, because batteries are kind of hard to get as well. They're not, they're not as bad. Batteries I don't think are as, as big of an issue because you do have the daily challenges. But it'd be nice if you could have chests that give you those batteries, even give you those the, the gold currency to upgrade your heroes, because gold is very hard to get in this game. Don't be fooled by the amount of gold I have at the top of my screen. If you're playing this game it's completely free to play or mild you know pay to win whatever you want to do it's still very hard to get that gold and upgrade every single hero in the game so they should have those chests where you can stack them up after you get wins unlock them maybe it takes like an hour two hours whatever time they want to put on the chest the bigger the chest the longer it takes to unlock just so that you can progress through the game a little bit quicker this game is very fun but even if you do play it free to play and you only focus on one or two heroes you're missing out on so many other heroes in the game which would make the game really really enjoyable like a lot more enjoyable for you and so sometimes you want a meme you can play with some sniper heroes some shotgun heroes but right now you sort of just have to focus on one hero in the game and i think that they need to balance that 100 
The third thing I feel like they need to add is respawnable game modes and objective based game modes. This takes the game to a higher level. Right now, I do enjoy what they're doing with the game. They have the solo, King of the Hill, they have the battle royale, and they have the team deathmatch, but all of it is BR based. I don't think anyone would complain if they add another game mode to the game where you have like a respawn based game or maybe you guys are racing up to try and get to 20 kills or 30 kills something like that it can be one it can be 3v3 4v4 5v5 whatever it is but since they already have 5v5 i say let's say like a 4v4 you know team deathmatch game mode racing up to get to 20 kills i feel like that could be a lot of fun um what i mean by objective based game mode there may be even more fun ones like capture the flag like there's an objective on the map you guys try to grab the flag and take it secure it on the other enemy's headquarters you know things like that or like securing a location or even like a domination you know something like that adding those unique game modes would add another layer to this game so that you can continue to switch it up because at the end of the day the 5v5 game mode in this game you can only play every few hours and if you're not on at those specific time slots like i'm always on playing this game in the morning i actually never get a chance to play the 5v5 so i want to record a 5v5 video i've got to alter my entire schedule just to get that video uploaded but on top of that just having those more fun game modes and multiple game modes for you to play i feel like would be an awesome addition to the game now the next one this one's more sort of gameplay oriented but imagine if this game had like clans and clan wars and things like that i feel like the only way for that to happen though this goes back to number three which is adding those respawnable game modes if you could have clan wars in this game where you guys can all get into a guild together or a clan whatever you want to call it we have like a team chat we can donate uh cards to our teammates we can donate coins batteries even if you want to go that far even gears like imagine being able to trade gears with your friends in the same team or guild that would be a legendary change to have added into this game would love to see that and on top of that having a clan war where you guys can hop into like a 3v3 against another team first to 20 racing up in those respawnable game modes or playing the objective or whatever it is would make this game amazing i feel like this one is a lot of people are going to agree with this one and hey if you're listening zepto lab get the team based stuff added to the game because we would love to see it now number five i feel like this one is more of, of my sort of preference but i want this game to add either sidearms or custom weapons per hero now what i mean by the sidearm is we have right you start the game with your secondary weapon whenever you collect ammo you get your primary weapon out but you can't use your sidearm after that unless you run out of ammo i feel like it would add another level you know another skill level to the game if you could still use your secondary now this would mainly be probably too broken i want to say too broken but i think i can see the most benefit coming from um these sniper heroes or even smg heroes too if you think about it because the thing with sniper heroes right like if you have that sniper someone like slayer or someone like blood who only gets one shot off and you have to wait until the until the bolt action goes down then you'll be in a little bit of trouble if you round a corner and you miss your shot whereas you can be able to whip out your secondary pistol at least give you a chance to win that fight it will also help out with these smg heroes because a lot of the smg heroes in this game have a very small ammo count per clip for their weapon you know someone i'm looking at angel like if you don't have her upgraded she has like six shots in her smg if you run out being able to swap to your pistol i feel like would be amazing on top of that custom weapons if you could even get like custom loadouts i'm talking maybe maybe there are heroes in the game that have like a sniper i don't know how many weapons they could create or if they want to like mix and mash it but if you could choose a specific sniper maybe you want to run a, like a bolt action maybe you could choose like a semi-auto just for that specific hero i think it'd be pretty cool as well because when you add those respawnable game modes then you want to be able to play those different heroes this will allow a more free to play based game on top of that because let's say you're focusing on one hero you, and this hero only has a sniper maybe you want to run ar but because you don't have enough batteries and enough coins to upgrade your other heroes now you're sort of stuck because you can't upgrade them so you have to use your sniper in order to compete but if you have multiple weapons that you can sort of switch around per each hero let's say you have the slayer loaded out with the sniper maybe he has another weapon that you could use for him like a long range ar that's really slow like levi or something like that just so that you don't have to focus on upgrading all of these different heroes at the same time because it is it is very expensive in order to do so and if you're playing this game free to play let me tell you what you better only be focusing on those one or two heroes otherwise you would be in trouble but those are my five things that i want to see here added in bullet echo overall though it is a great game i have not had so much fun playing a mobile game like this before it's unique i love the aspect of how you have to be looking at your hero or looking in a certain direction in order to spot someone because it's realistic right even though it's over the top you can't see someone standing behind you unless you look at them i like the footsteps i love how quiet the game is i love the battle royale experience but i feel like this game could level up by the end of 2020 and in the beginning of 2021 
if they make these specific changes to the game. I know a lot of you guys are probably having issues with ping. I see comments about, oh, I have to play on 400 ping, 500 ping, 600 ping. So I don't know what they can do about that as far as servers go. I know servers is a whole different topic. Like updating your game is one thing, but installing a server in different parts of the world, that is completely next level. And I think that comes later down the road. Um, disconnects, you know, there's some bugs in the game where sometimes you'll disconnect. I'll be playing events or I'll be going on a win streak and out of nowhere it says server disconnected and I just lose my win streak. I just lose, you know, my event, miss out on those opportunities to get those wins. And that can be very frustrating as well. So, of course, we want to see some bugs fixed. Uh, but overall, I mean, I think they're doing a great job. They added the gears, I think, was which is a really good change. Um, there are still more gears to be had in this game as well. If you guys go to, like, the gear section of your hero, there are two more slots that you can actually fill up for those gears. So, that's pretty lit. That'll be something to look forward to. But I really want to see some more depth in this game to continue playing it long term. Either way, we'll be grinding it. We'll be pumping out the videos for you guys. But I just want to see that you know, more, more content so that I can also keep on burying up the videos. Right now, I'm sort of stuck on doing like 1v1s, 3v3s, and just trophy pushing with different heroes, but I want to have that added depth. I think there's more opportunity for memes and just content in general, but overall, great job, Zeptolab. I'm really, really enjoying your game, and I know all of you guys are as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the, today's video, and I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day.